Um, hello, good day everyone. I am Professor Franklin P. Tizon, together with my colleague, Professor Belen Y. Lupina of Tabato State University, Southern Philippines. We are to present our research titled Learning Styles and Learning Modalities Amidst New Normal of the Students of Tabato State University, Southern Philippines. As part of our introduction, different condition calls for different method. One of the sectors greatly affected by the pandemic is the education. Philippines has been greatly challenged with the coming of the pandemic. Education has been compromised and ways and methods were introduced in order to pursue the education of the students. With the pandemic, learning delivery modalities have been altered. Nowadays, students may learn through distance learning. That can be through modular online distance learning, blended learning, and homeschooling. On the other hand, successful learning may also be attributed to the learning styles of the students. Hence, this study was conducted to determine the learning styles of students and the preferred learning modalities of both the students and the teachers in the new normal. And we have these objectives of our study. We identified three. The first one is to determine the learning styles of students necessary to teaching learning process. The second one, to identify the preferred learning modalities of the students to be considered by the teachers in the selection of the mode of learning. And the third one is to determine the preferred learning modality of the teacher respondents. And for our methodology, this study is purely descriptive. It describes the preferred learning modalities of students and teachers, at the same time, the learning styles of students. And respondents of this study were students and teachers of Cotabato State University, Philippines, who were selected through stratified random sampling technique. Its department, in the Cotabato State University, which consists of six departments, were properly represented through equal allocation. And data was gathered through online platforms and interviews and focus group discuss discussions were also conducted. In the analysis of the data, we use the mean, percentile, frequency, and rank to analyze the data that was gathered. And for the instrument of this study, we actually had two in, uh, sets of instrument. The first one is for, was for the learning styles and the second one was for the learning modalities. And both these uh, research instruments were standardized. For the learning styles, it was adapted from CITE learning styles instrument more doc teachers that was anchored on dance model. And for the learning modality, uh, the instrument was patterned on uh, the instrument used by Kabwal 2021. And this particular instruments were validated by three experts of the field and it they also underwent pilot testing. After the pilot test, item analysis was also conducted. And for the results of the study on our first question, which is what is the learning styles of the students? The learning styles as described in our instrument were identified as visual, tactile, kinesthetic, auditory, group, and individual. And all these six learning styles were described as agree meaning that the student respondents were using this particular learning styles. However, 
the most dominant learning styles used by the respondent students was the auditory evidence with the mean of 4.22 and described as a V. Uh, but as you can see, it also has a slight difference with the other learning styles. <clears throat> On the other hand, the results of the student's learning modality as identified were self-learning kit. We have actually two self-learning kit which are categorized into hard copy and soft copy. And there was also online that is through virtual class and PowerPoint of the topics and the video recordings on the topic. As can be seen from the table, you see that the self-learning kit was ranked first by the student respondents. And this was followed with the soft copy of the modules ranked second. And ranked third was the video recordings on the topic. And ranked fourth was the PowerPoint on the topics. And the uh, least preferred of the student respondents was the online virtual class. So this implies that the respondents where the student respondents of Cotabato State University preferred to have a hard copy of modules. And it is further implied that the online or the virtual class were, was their least preferred modality, probably because of majority of the students in CSU barely access internet connection. And then on the contrary, the teacher's preferred learning modality, the same as identified as those of the, uh, as those of the students. However, in this case, the preferred learning modality of the teachers was the video recordings on the topic. And that was ranked first by the teacher respondents, ranked second, was the self-learning kit through the use of hard copy of modules. And rank third was the self-learning uh, kit, that is the soft copy of the modules. And rank fourth was the online virtual class, uh, the same way the PowerPoint on the topics. They have equal rank, which is 12% rank fourth. And as to the conclusion, uh, it can be seen in the results of the study that the dominant learning style of the student respondents was auditory. However, it cannot be denied that these respondents have also been using the other styles of learning. In terms of the student's preferred learning modality, majority wanted to have self-learning kit that is hard copy of their modules. And this suggests that they would want to learn in their own and at their pace. Such selection may also be due to the student's lack of access to materials necessary for other modalities, especially that of an online or a modality requiring internet connection or gadgets. On the contrary, the teacher respondents preferred modality was video recording, which was quite intriguing given the basic function of teachers especially in molding the student's holistic growth. However, given that these teachers are in tertiary level, they thought probably of letting students be responsible in their learning. And that would be all. Thank you for the opportunity given to your fellow and hoping to collaborate with you soon. Thank you and wassalam.